Today's episode is brought to you by Sele, bringing humans together since 1995. You tell Hulk Hogan, <laughs> it's not okay to say the N-word. <laughs> it's true, though. Welcome to this sleepy, very sleepy afternoon. <laughs> Of recording um, the Nerdington Post. We're going to keep it slow and steady for you. Because oh. news was fortunately <laughs> slow and steady. Very slow and steady. So not uh, not a lot to do. Like, there, a lot of s- stuff happened. A lot of indie games were announced this past week. I was just running through the news. Uh, nothing we particularly care about. Uh, just check them, check them out, check out, just just check out some news sites. Yeah, <laughs> some really. Some cool indies came out, maybe yeah. you're interested. Um, as usual, like, Phil Spencer came out talking about, like, next-gen Bethesda acquisition, saying, like, yeah, we don't need games on Sony to make the $7 billion deal profitable. Which is true. Yeah, but again, like, we'll see. It's, yeah. I think with just, yeah. like, Elder Scrolls and stuff, it'll be on there. But, like, new IPs like Starfield, I think those could be at least timed exclusive to Xbox. Yeah. I'm surprised that, like, the, uh, uh, the Microsoft opened up the coffers for that Bethesda acquisition since, notoriously, Xbox has been one of their least profitable divisions. Right. <laughs> like, even during the 360 generation, where it was booming... Where he's doing its best, it's like, yeah, but most of our money's still coming from Windows and other <laughs> services. Like this is peanuts. But, exactly. You know, um, which is why they're taking a loss on the Series X. Yeah. Um, what do you call it? PS Five. Um, on the blog, we're talking, talking about voice functionality. I get like I don't, everyone uses Discord. Yeah, really. They also announced that uh, some of the streaming apps that you'll have available to you on your PS5, which... Disney Plus, Mandalore. I think people care about that. Like, I, I again... But come on, like, how everything. many people in their home already either A, don't have a smart TV or some other device that can stream that? A lot of people just like having that one box to rule the living room. <laughs> The Xbox One. I remember when they wanted to do that. That was so yeah. stupid. Oh, Don that Matrix. was so stupid. Yeah, there's a reason Don Matrick's not in charge of exactly. Xbox anymore. It's a cool concept, but, uh, you know. When you sell a game system, you should be worried about selling games, not... not. Hey, check this out. Multimedia <laughs> Halo. We're going to have a TV show. Uh, Quantum Break. Live action show. We're going to have a separate thing, but then things fall apart and then we just incorporate that show into the game. And the thing about, like, that was honestly my only issue with Quantum Break because that was a fun game for me. Yeah. Just the live action, I was like, oh, this is so stupid. But uh, speaking of first party video game movie adaptations, we got our first look at Tom Holland as Nathan Drake. Got some set photos. I mean... The notebook and uh, the old timey looking key and block they yeah. showed looks cool. Looks yeah, he's got the ring key. around his neck. He's yeah, got, yeah. Set I'm photo excited. of uh, Tom Holland and <laughs> original Nathan Drake, Nolan North. So that's cool. But yeah, I mean Tom Holland's a charismatic young man. Good he's actor. a good Peter Parker. Yeah, I haven't seen the movie. I haven't liked him in yet. So apparently his new one's really good. Ooh, uh, The Devil All the Time. Yeah. I haven't seen it yet. I've heard good things. Yeah. It's on Netflix. Check it out. It's on Netflix. I, yep. Robert Pattinson's in it, so you get a Batman Spider Man <laughs> Oh, and uh, Batman is shooting. I found this out yesterday on my war channel. They're actually shooting in front and around my building downtown where oh, my office is located. Nice, man. So Dude. I might have to go I might have to go in the office one day next week just to see if oh, I yeah. can uh, see Pattinson. Hell yes. And Pattinson was a uh, solid and talent, man. Might be my favorite movie this year, but I, get, I can't think of what came out this year <laughs> because of COVID. 
Did Far Ten. From Home come out? No, Far From Home. That was last, last year. year. Yeah. Tenet was great. Okay. In other movie news, this is... This is the news of the decade, man. We'll see. Evangelion 3.0 plus 1.0. <laughs> thrice upon time, baby. Long time in the making. This is the final movie in the Rebuild of Evangelion series. The uh, It's a remake of the celebrated groundbreaking <laughs> 1995 anime Neon Genesis Evangelion uh, tetralogy. When do you think uh, the last movie in this tetralogy came out? You are asking the wrong guy. I'm going to say 15 years ago. Oh. Sooner or Still, later? Uh, sooner, but not... Ten years ago. Not bad, though. <laughs> oh, okay, good. <laughs> Part three in this tetralogy came out seven years ago, man. I was half right. Is those... No, eight years ago. I was half right. Which is like... Us weebs have been waiting this movie for eight years. I don't, I don't, I don't know why you pointed at me. I'm not a weeb. Persona 5. I, was po- I wasn't pointing at you. I no, you went at like... No, no offense sure. to the weebs that we'll, may watch we'll this. Check, we'll check the footage to see where my <laughs> hand went. I'm pretty sure I went straight out. It may have gone this way a little bit since my hand was here, went out to go straight. Anyway, hey, hey. us weebs have been waiting there we go. for this there movie. We go. The first movie came out in this uh, remake series came out in 2007. Okay, so the first three movies came out on a steady clip. <laughs> And then seven years for this last movie. And even the production of the previous movie got borked because of the, uh, the, the, what was it? The tsunami in Japan. Oh, okay. That fucked okay. shit up. And there was like the Fukushima stuff. So yeah, the original plans for that movie got borked and that movie's weird. <laughs> <laughs> I guess, because... The, the remake series was on a good pace of tightening up and reimagining the uh, Evangelion series in a cool way. And then it just kind of falls off a cliff into the previous weirdness. And, like, I'm not saying that in the best way. <laughs> it is interesting. I don't think, you know... That second movie of the remake series I love more than the main series. And then that third movie is whatever. But yeah. I'm rambling. It's all good. I'm tired as hell. It's all good. But, you know, I'm excited for the Seven Gillen movie. <laughs> Did I even talk about release date? January. January. 23rd, 2021. Uh-huh. Again. It's like a Kingdom Hearts 3 thing. I won't believe it. Until <laughs> I see it, man. Oh, I waited so long for that game. And we all was did. it disappointing? It wasn't disappointing, but it, you know, for as long as we waited, it did not blow me away. Like uh-huh. I, like when you, when you wait that long for a game, you wanted to be like, all right, this is gonna be game of the year, even if it's a fucking yeah, not you know, if you want it to be great, and it was very average. It's like, hey, this game matches my expectations of what. Would be awesome if I was still in high school. Exactly. <laughs> it's been high school since then, and like I'm in 30 now, so this is unimpressive. To <laughs> exactly. Me. But that teenager would but, have been blown away. But goddamn, I'm a fan of the series. I'm gonna suck it up and spend sixty dollars on this game. Yes, and I will fly to Japan <laughs> to see this movie in theaters now. But they'll they'll do. Uh, I don't know. They always do those Fathom events, anime releases mm-hmm. in theaters, which I've been to a couple in the past year. That was fun. Always fun, man. <laughs> I saw Akira in theaters a uh, couple episodes ago. <laughs> I saw the... Uh, right before COVID happened, I saw the latest My Hero Academia movie in theaters, which was fun. And before that, I saw Promare in theaters. Yeah, and seeing anime on a big screen, very entertaining. <coughs> it's very annoying to see it with other weebs of them just, you know, being weeby and you hear them over your shoulder. It's just like, Breathing it's heavily. Not... Just kidding, that was a joke. Yeah, it's like, that... that's not a laugh out loud joke. That's like a, <laughs> I get it joke. And you're just like, <laughs> this is an anime thingy. <laughs> like, yeah, dude. 
Is this your first time watching anime? I've been watching anime for close to three dec or yeah, three decades, man. That's, <laughs> that's a like a very play joke. Like uh, uh, his nose is bleeding because he's aroused. Uh, uh, like fuck off, man. <laughs> it happens sorry. all the time. It's not a novel thing. Oh man, Borat Two comes out tomorrow. That's Ooh, gonna be good. Very nice. C- certified fresh on Rotten Tomatoes. Yeah, uh, I'll watch that. No, no I'm gonna watch that. Yeah. God knows I'm free. Yeah, I am. Streaming services, we are talking earlier, coming to the PlayStation. Disney Plus, Mandalorian <laughs> coming out soon. Yes. You gotta renew that. You gotta, I told you, you, you could use mine it. if you wanted. Nah, man. I don't play that. One percenters? <laughs> nah. The only time we borrow stuff is when it's, uh,. Women on Jeffrey Epstein's island. Yeah, don't say that. That's hey, that's not good. No, it's not. Uh, Jeffrey Epstein's a horrible person. He's a horrible person. Yeah, his girlfriend's getting grilled right now by yeah. uh, federal law enforcement. Um, they just released yeah, her I, 2016 yeah, I didn't de- see deposition. Anything. Like, come on. Uh, also, the royal consort Prince Philip, <laughs> dude, <laughs> you totally messed around with Epstein. Yeah, come on. Yeah, shame on you, royal. Um, but yeah, this isn't the new. This isn't the Huffington Post <laughs> or the Washington Post. This is the Nerdington Post. Keep it nerd news. That's baby. right. Uh, we keep the weave train rolling, man. Asus is having some Gundam themed PC hardware coming out. It looked awesome. Let's get full screen here. It looks cool. Um, if you're into Universal Century, they have uh, some stuff. Based off of Amaro Ray's RX seven eight two Gundam, and then Char's Red Zaku color scheme looks great. And now's the time for any weeb to build a PC. Yeah, Asia only though, because licensing rights. <laughs> yeah, if you want to import a, a graphics card, a PC case. Although Asus's PC case, I don't think they review well. Um, top reviewing cases of twenty twenty are the. Uh, Fantex 500A and the <laughs> Lian Lee Lancool 2 Mesh. I think that's the the Lian Lee. That's the one I was looking at Lian for my yeah. Um Yeah, I've been uh, again. I've talked about doing a PC overhaul. I mean, uh, my case is like ten years old. <laughs> it's rickety. Um, you know. Yeah. You know. Yeah. If you want more in-depth stuff, check out uh, Jay's Two Cents and P- uh, Gamers Nexus. They're great channels. I subscribe. I subscribe to someone I can't remember his name, though. But he has really good content. Yeah. I like Jay's Two Cents because he's like a dopey everybody. Let me see what... Because I'm going to plug this guy because I like his content. Is it Linus? Get out of here if it's Linus. <sighs> guy's got too many subscribers. We don't need to plug him. <laughs> Linus? Linus Tech Tips. I have nothing against Linus. He's got solid content, great content, but it's, it's too corporate because he's Bitwit. too big. Bitwit? Okay. Uh, I like I Bitwit. He's, Bitwit. He's, got, he's got really good content. Yeah, That's what I've been yeah. watching. I'm pretty sure Linus Tech Tips has as much subscribers as everyone else combined. Oh, okay. <laughs> Which is bananas. He's got a lot going on. But, you know, he's been grinding at it for like over a decade, so good on you, man. Uh, bo- bo- bo. <laughs> it's a really light week. Yeah. Super light. We-, we apologize. Not really, though. Not really. But hey, two and a half more weeks till next gen launch, baby. Yeah. And a couple more weeks, and I'm going back to first shift, baby. <laughs> That's right. First shift. All right. Uh, just got to train the new guy, which might take a while. <laughs> Okay, Cha-cha-cha-cha. GGPO coming to GGAC plus R, baby, which is a lot of letters that means nothing to you, unless you're in the know, you know? Why don't you, so, why don't you put them in the GGAC in plus R is Guilty Gear Accent Core plus R, which is the last iteration of Guilty Gear X2, which was... It's like, you know how Street Fighter, they had like super turbo, yeah, super yeah, yeah. it's the same thing okay. with Guilty Gear where 
Like, thank God we live in a digital future where you can just download patches rather than having to buy a new game to get the character updates and the balance updates. But yeah, this is the uh, third, the last game in the third series of Guilty Gear. The last game. Yeah, so there's Guilty Gear, then there's the Guilty Gear X series of games, and then there's the Guilty Gear X2 series of games, and then the Guilty Gear Zerd series of games. (laughs) So this is the last game in the X2 series series and the uh, steam version is getting ggpo rollback netcode which is what fans have been wanting <laughs> just because now that rollback is happening in the previous in an old version of guilty gear there's a chance it's not going to get botched when guilty gear strive comes out next year <laughs> and that fans are listening that they want good netcode in their games <laughs> which is yeah everybody should want that Everybody should want good netcode in the games. The thing is, though, which kind of diminishes the possibility of uh, Guilty Gear Strive having the same netcode is it started off as a fan project, and then it got officially sanctioned mm-hmm. by uh, Arc System Works. So okay. that's cool, but yeah, it was initially started off as a fan initiative, but then it shows that Arc System Works is listening and paying attention to its community and its fan base. You know. They gave the modders uh, the netcode, or not the netcode, the source code for the game so they could properly in- implement uh, rollback netcode to the best of its ability in the game, which is cool. Modders and the community making things happen. That's right. It's beautiful. Like uh, it's great. Smash Brothers Melee, that old hat that uh, the uh, fighting community of uh, Smash loves. I'm not a Smash guy. <laughs> I don't, I'm not a fan of Smash. It's it's a party game, people. I like it, but I'm I don't really care for fighting games. Yeah, we're, uh, I'm more of a, when it comes to fighting games, I'm just a butt masher. I'm like, oh yeah, ugh. yeah. I have no idea what I'm doing. The fan the community added in rollback netcode to melee. I th- you think brawl or melee? Again, I don't care about Smash. But if it's melee, that means the GameCube version of Smash has better netcode <laughs> than the current version of Smash <laughs> that made millions upon millions of dollars, the best selling fighting game ever known. A bunch of dudes on their own made better netcode <laughs> than, than this. Then, then Nintendo and the, Smash was primarily developed by Bandai Namco, who makes games like Tekken and Soul Calibur. And these fans made better netcode <laughs> than these million dollar endeavors. So, suck on that. You got me made so much money with Smash and you're doing nothing to... Yeah. Well, I guess they're... They're, they're releasing all like characters yeah. and everything, but like... Yeah. And they apparently it took a lot of work for the programmers to uh, implement Steve and the... His, really? The mechanics. Oh, yeah. They pretty much had to... Rewrite the code for like every level, <laughs> something like that. Something ridiculous. Uh, oh, Sakurai funny. talks about it when he goes in depth on like the uh, for this for Steve. Um, it's funny. But yeah, props to Sakurai and his team. Just yeah, doing everything they can. Like Steve could have been an easy, you know, cash in character. But oh, it they, still is an easy cash in character. Yeah, but they implemented like with every DLC character they implement unique mechanics yeah. put a lot of attention to detail into the fan service and whatnot. so hats off to you Sakurai we have the hats Let's, should we make this an official weekly segment yep hats off to you Sakurai uh, working yourself to death you've put yourself in the hospital <laughs> a couple times just because you overwork yourself <laughs> Yeah, you went to work with an IV and yeah. I what? Mean, oh yeah, dude. Ugh. Smash will kill this man. Okay, I'll kill this man. And he'll never be able to sca- escape him. He might have <laughs> other projects he wants to work on, like Kid Icarus Uprising, and then the oh, fans yeah. will be like, fuck you, buddy, make more Smash. Right? And he's like, yeah, fine, fine, fine. And then he does it. And, and it sells. And we're not happy with the characters they choose for the <laughs> DLC. But that's the internet for you. Always it is the internet. Always Nothing's ever good enough. But it's something a lot of people are disappointed in. But are you disappointed? You should have seen this coming a mile away. 
But your dipshits. We're gonna dunk on these dipshits right now. Dunk it on dipshits. People who play NBA 2K. <laughs> so fans were up in an uproar because they implemented um, unskippable ads, ads that interrupt gameplay. Like you're, I, I read know. it was in the loading screen. The loading screens. Yeah, uh, it I mean, like I don't interrupt know. Gameplay. It yeah, interrupts the flow of gameplay. Mm-hmm. So it's like, yeah, I'm gonna load up for a game, and then I'm like, here, watch this ad. Yeah. Shit. Like. Are you surprised? they have done it before and then be like, oh, sorry, sorry. We didn't beat the implement right. this way. And then they do it again. Now they don't care. They don't care. Because they know you're stupid and you're still going to buy the $60 game. Know. The same game from last year. You should buy a new roster. Hey, man. They rework physics and stuff sometimes. Know, the footwork. Yeah. Fine. Uh, you should buy it maybe once every three years. Have, have, have you seen the uh, next-gen trailer for it, 2K? It looks it, good. It looks impressive. It looks impressive. Still, but, he's got that handsome digital face. But I don't know, man. This is your this is your dunk on dipshits. I'm gonna mind later. No, just vote with your dollars. If you're not happy, just vote with your dollars. Yeah, we live in a capitalist society. <laughs> Money is the most important thing. Money is the reason we exist. Everyone knows it. It's a fact. Kiss, kiss. <laughs> Lana Del Rey, people. We live in a capitalist society. We vote with our dollars. If you don't want, if you don't want uh, weird DLC tied to uh, physical goods like this, don't buy amiibos. <laughs> I love amiibos. They're such great figurines. That's how I get you. Yeah. No, I, I. Yeah. If you don't want in-game ads, don't buy this version of Two K. But it's too late. Those, 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 those habitual. Buyers will just get the same thing over and over again. Well, that's what that's, that's what any that's, sports yeah. game. Yeah, because that you know I get it. That's your thing. But but I don't know. with with as much money as like those games make with like two K with VC and the online platform, you think that they could lower the price of the game because no. they make all that money? We have to in. charge seventy no, no. dollars though <laughs> to recoup. The cost of development. Don't, 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 don't. Like, remember, pay ten dollars more and pay no attention to these in-game ads we're like, making profits off of, or this VC. Like how many? Like how many times did when we worked at GameStop, did people just come in and be like, "I need like fifty dollars worth of VC." Oh yeah, no, it's it, insane. It's, those whales, though, man, they they keep that uh, business alive. Because mm-hmm. not again, not everybody. Like most people aren't buying VC. Most people aren't like getting shark cards, but yeah. it's those whales, man. Mm-hmm. Oh, I wish I could be a whale and pay my way to success. <laughs> I could boost my character and uh, get all the haircuts. Oh, man. No. But yeah, vote with your dollars. If you don't support a practice a publisher is doing, don't buy the game. Yeah, really. Don't buy the game. Like, if you're... Somebody who was like pissed off about the leaks of Last of Us Two, and you're like, "Yeah, boycott Last of Us Two. Like, hey, guess what? It was one of Sony's fastest selling games. Yeah. So, yeah, good boycott. Way to vote with your dollars. Yeah, yeah, really. Like, I loved it. I thought the whole idea was just like, yeah, I don't like. Really and you know, the story. funny thing yeah. is, like, you know that people are like, oh, this is dumb. You know, they still buy that fucking oh, game. Yeah, dude. Yeah, it's like uh, I avoided the the leaks and like I I didn't. Like the way the story went, but I wasn't upset that I spent sixty dollars on the game. Overall, it's a good game. It just, in my opinion, the story could have been better or better placed, if that makes sense. Paced, placed. So I feel placed. like I feel like the second half of the game shouldn't have all been Abby. Oh, one shot. You wanted to go more back and forth rather than one chunk and then one chunk. I think it would have been better if you kind of get that introduction to Abby. And, and first maybe see her and like play as her up until killing Joel or even after killing Joel Dude, and then I, you take control of Ellie. No, man. I love that. Uh, that's such a great trick they pulled off, though, of you spent half the game hating Abby. And then like, okay, now you play as Abby. Let's try to have you win. No. Let's try to have you. Let's try to win you over with No, her. deep they, down. They pull it off, deep man. down. I agree with what they did was like you, like really tricky, tricky, and 
I know what they were trying to do, but the entire second half of the game, I didn't give a shit about Abby. Oh, fuck you. I didn't. You didn't care about her? You didn't, she didn't win you over? Nope. At the end of the game, oh, come on. I, wanted, just, I still want Ellie to kill her. Oh, man. It, it, it's a revenge story. Like, I had, like... I understand where no, they were going from. Like, I understand where bad, no, I understand no where they were coming from. I understand why they did what they they did. But I don't agree with it. Do I regret buying the game? No. Yeah. Do I regret playing through it twice? No. See, I don't agree with what Joel did at the end of the first game, but I I get it. I uh, you at least, I agree you with you. At least there. got it. You and, least... and that's why the Honestly, in my opinion, they should have never made a second one. No, because the ending of the first one is perfect. Yes, Last of Us one. Last of Us Last of Us Part One one is overall probably the best game that came out in the last what ten fifteen years. Story wise, yes. Still, yeah, story wise, okay, I mean, yeah. yeah, story wise, like story driven games, yeah. it's like number one. But they could have easily just been like. They could have made another Last of Us game, but take it place in a different part of that universe. With different characters. Exactly. Yeah. But uh, they... Because I came in with the same hesitation. Like, ah, they wrapped up Ellie and Joel's story perfectly. Yeah. But then, oh, they, they pulled it off. They didn't, but... <laughs> <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. What was I saying? Vote with your dollars. <laughs> Vote with your dollars. If you don't like how... Uh, if you don't want to support the Coke brothers... Don't buy products owned by their companies, I guess. Uh, but they own so much. You can't avoid it. Say the Coke Brothers? The Coke Brothers. Coca-Cola? Yeah. No, C- uh, K-O-C-H. Oh, K-O-C-H. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, they throw a lot of money towards political stuff. Oh, uh, okay. With. But if they own Charmin, which is my go-to brand of toilet paper. Sam, I like Charmin. I love me some Charmin. Ah, I gotta support the Coke Brothers. See, here's my thing. My, the comfort of my own asshole. I was overriding my my uh, <laughs> any sort of political ag- action I'm gonna take. I was listening to a com- stand-up comedian. I don't remember who it was. It might have been Billy Eichner or someone. Bill Burr. I, I don't remember, but he was like, you know what? I fucking love Chick-fil-A. Mm. But I hate what the, the yeah. owners of that company stand for. Yeah. So he's like, every time I eat at Chick-fil-A, I make a donation to LBG, LGBQT. Plus. Plus. Yes, plus. And I'm like, I get it. That's a good way to do things. I do like Chick-fil-A. Oh, I love Chick-fil-A. Yeah. It's so good. So but I thought as long as I was like, yeah, if you don't agree with that, just donate to a cause that they hate. Yeah. Chick-fil-A is so good. Yeah. I don't need it. Ever, because, you know, I'm not a terrible person. <laughs> no, but when I was living in Madison, Wisconsin, uh, I lived like a half a mile from a Chick-fil-A, so... <laughs> you ate I it. I went there every now and then. <laughs> well, mainly because my roommate liked it, and then, like, well, if you're driving, I'm not going to... No, no, I am. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <sighs> that sauce is so good. I like well, that sauce, yeah. man. That's how I felt, like, every time... We were talking about going to White Castle, like you were John, like, well, when are you driving? Let's go. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'll go to White Castle. Uh, will, will that uh, purple soda shred my stomach every time? Yes. <laughs> will I get it every time? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah they, Absolutely. there's no uh, grape soda like that. It, uh, it's super sugary and acidic, and ugh. It's too big of a stab on the inside, but I don't know. <laughs> so good? <coughs> it's not good. It's so sweet. <laughs> I hate grape soda. Oh, racist. How is that racist? No, it's more racist than I called you out for being racist. Oh, okay. I was like, yeah. My calling you racist makes the assumption that all of a certain people love grape <laughs> soda. So, you know. You're a racist. Exactly. And I'll be racist to your face, people. He does it to me all the time. Yeah. He calls me a white devil he all the time. He is a white devil. I'm punching up race once. Okay? <laughs> it's okay. I still love you. Yeah. It's okay. Everybody could make fun of white people. White people, unfortunately. You can't make Yeah, but white people anybody. suck. Like, dude, we suck. You need, like, uh, something else going for you. Like, uh, a gay or a woman. And then you could... It qualifies, but as a white man, nah. You're, no, you're no, a little bit joke wise. Yeah. 
Yeah. But white people suck. So, like, I don't care if people make fun of white people. We are, we are garbage. Well, we are literal, yeah. gar- literal garbage. Not me. So yeah. I'm not a piece of shit. No, no, no. He said we. He said we. He said we. He means all white people. Let's make white people great again in these next few I years, hate you. man. I hate you. <laughs> I hate that you just said that. We're getting yeah. off topic. Yeah, there's a war on white people. There's a war on Christmas. There's a war on the traditional family. This is this is all I support. This is all Chick Fil A. This is all joke. And their uh, Chick Fil A sauce. I don't know. It's like a little bit of barbecue, maybe a little bit of mayo. I don't know. It's they do have a, good barbecue it's, sauce. It's good stuff. They have man. good barbecue sauce. My pleasure. Here we go. My pleasure. Nope. I hate that. Oh, but I fucking like, hate dude, it. No, I hate you that. You work in a fast food place, man. <laughs> like I don't. Know. I don't so know. It's re- it's really not your pleasure. Yeah, when I was uh, had to cook food for people, it's like nah. I'm I'm gonna do my best <laughs> to fucking cook your steak to a perfect temperature, but go fuck yourself. Yeah, exactly. Go fuck yourself. It's like the two years I worked in a kitchen, I was like, it is not my pleasure. Yeah. No, nope. Man. <laughs> nope. <laughs> go fuck yourself. You like that chicken? Well, come back. We will shit on whatever values <laughs> you libtards may have. <laughs> Oh, oh man, Whew. that was good. That was good. <laughs> uh, have you heard about <laughs> Lindsey Graham? Yeah, I yeah, heard, he's a scumbag. I heard he's a closeted homosexual. <laughs> 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 but yeah, let's get back. <laughs> let's get back to nerd stuff, man. Uh, <coughs> Final Fantasy fourteen almost fell back. Are you still playing that? Oh, I'm loving it, man. Because <laughs> there's there's uh, the way Final Fantasy fourteen works. Uh, they'll have like the major release, and then every quarter they'll have a big update patch that adds new content and new story. So the base game, the base game, base game of Final Fantasy fourteen was boring as shit. I skipped a lot of the cutscenes. <laughs> This is just a lot of setting up the world, uh, the political factions, the uh, I don't know drama between like the tribe, the beast tribe, the beast men tribes, and the city states, and it's all very uninteresting and boring. There's an evil empire also, like eh, who gives a shit? So like the the base game and the world were born, boring as shit, and then I it wasn't until like the uh, post base game content mm-hmm. where I started getting in falling in love with like all the kids like the uh crew you hang out with because mm-hmm. again with trouble with storytelling and mmo is like i don't care about the main character there can't be any there's no character growth or art yeah exactly it's like some random guy i made but like your the cast of characters gets super interesting the political intrigue starts getting interesting and in, like the uh patches between uh the first expansion after the base game so i'm all in <laughs> I'm, the political drama in Uldan is very, very <laughs> scintillating, man. How will Roban get out of this one? <laughs> Dude, it's like... Is it free to play? Pretty much, yeah, for the... Because uh, you get up to... Level cap is 80 mm-hmm. with the new expansion, but you get up to six, level 60, and you get the base game and the first expansion for free. Oh, okay. There's like some stuff you can't, uh, you don't have access to on the free trial, but it pretty much the entire fir- main base game and first expansion free to play. Okay, because they uh, the producers talk about like TV seasons, like mm-hmm. each expansion is a season. Oh, so they okay. wanted people to get into the series. So like, hey, let's just release the first two seasons for free. Got it. Okay. Once they're in there, then they'll buy the expansion, get in. But, yeah. yeah. Loving the political intrigue. It, the end of... Like, the, the, I, I just got to Heaven's Ward, the first expansion, which is uh, very cool. Uh, my job of choice is Dragoon. Hashtag Dragoon Life. And it's all about like this uh, elven kingdom to the north that's being invaded by dragons, and it's very Dragoon-focused. <laughs> so it plays into my class. And like because I'm a Dragoon, I get some unique dialogue going in there. But yeah, it's very good. The The end of the base content it's very uh very empire strikes back or, really uh, end of um fellowship of the rings it's like ah oh, 
the fellowship is broken. <laughs> What's going to happen? I mean, am I going to see my friends again? I, I know I will because I've seen trailers for the uh, expansion content, so I know I'll see them again. Yeah. But I don't know when. I have no idea when. So, like, oh, my God, I hope these guys are all right. Because, yeah, I have to just... I have to flee, man. I have to flee. Yeah. I have to flee, flee the coup, man. There's nothing I can do. <laughs> flee to the north. Shit. Oh, it's very... Oh. It is... I, I under... It's getting there, man. Like, people say Shadowbringers, which is the most recent expansion that came out last year, is straight up the best Final Fantasy for Final Fantasy story. So that's why I'm getting there. I'm like, all right, I keep hearing good things about the story, like in the expansions, and it's it's starting to live up to it. Yeah. Okay. I, I'm not quite there at saying it's the best Final Fantasy story, but it's getting good, man. It's better than a lot of Final Fantasy stories. <laughs> And I'm, I'm, I just started the first expansion. So. Okay. Yeah, it's a slog at first. Noted. That base game is very boring. <laughs> just like, oh, the Empire is going to attack us and blah, blah, blah. Like, yeah, okay, cool. Evil Empire invading. Yeah. yeah it's been down before. Yeah. What have you been playing? I just downloaded this new game that everyone's like hyped about, Genshin Impact. Genshin Impact? Oh, you weeb. Thank you. Yeah. thank you it's dude Is it's it Breath of the Wild but if Playstation 4 did a Breath of the Wild yeah. like the open world looks the same you can climb anything it's it's a it's an RPG it's fun um it's fun yeah, um have micro microtransactions gotten in your way yet no that's why I was like I don't really want to invest time in this because I know with microtransactions it's coming because I've, I've read like I think in the first couple of days of that game being out they made their investment back yeah. with microtransactions the thing is I, I've heard like people putting like 30 hours into it and not paying a cent mm-hmm. and, like it, it's unobtrusive if you just want like different waifus you yeah. shell out the money yeah but yeah it, you know one thing I don't like about Breath of the Wild was the combat just because it's you know the the weapon breaking thing. Yeah, I get that. It's stupid. So if it has better combat, then it's more. Combat, it's more know. like combat along the lines of like a Final Fantasy fifteen. Um, you can change your weapons. Yeah. They, they my, none have broken so far. Okay. And yeah, I know it's like each character is elemental based, yep. and then you make combos by mm-hmm. switching characters. And yeah, it's. it's I've only played a couple hours. It's fun, but I kind of went back to uh, Resident Evil two remake. Ooh, nice, good choice. Yeah, I love that game, dude. Have you? Um, played the doom eternal dlc no i need to get it okay it's good I, I hear it's good it's more doom so yeah what's not to like yeah that's true but no i yeah i started playing resident evil 2 remake just because uh, i just felt like killing zombies man oh, yeah. and that's a good game if you haven't season, played it if you haven't played zombies. resident evil 2 remake do it i want to do the third one but i heard it's like seven hours like six seven yeah, hours cool. yeah i got the uh all the achievements in that in like two days, you know, weekend, <laughs> weekend it came out. It's quick. Yeah, you could speed running that game. I remember it was just like beating it in just over an hour. Yeah, it's fun though. It's okay, like the dodge mechanic. It, it, Resident Evil Two is a better game for sure, but mm-hmm. Three is still fun. Okay, it's got great moments, man. Like it, yeah, it, I know. Nemesis was the original Nemesis was a great game. So that's why I'm like, oh, I love Nemesis on PlayStation. Yeah, so. it's probably on sale. There's probably it a probably is on sale, sale going there on. There is actually. Oh, wow, okay. Pick it up, dingus. I, I'll get there. Pick it up, dingus. <sighs> but yeah, I mean. Or a uh, GameStop rental, dude. Oh, yeah. Get a pre-owned version and then beat tomorrow. it in a week. And then... I am going there tomorrow. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, Mr. We're, Big Shot. We're buying GameStop. <laughs> we're oh, buying a... Oh, okay, kid. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Okay, yeah, kid, going to, you missed a big shot kid over here, going to, going to GameStop. Going to sell really, some of your games, huh? Probably, but it's not really that, okay. it's not a big shot kind of thing. Oh, Mr. Big Shot That's here, not, selling his games. <laughs> he has some store credit, he's going to put it towards his, uh, Cyber, his... Cyberpunk so, yeah. pre-order. Yeah, Cyberpunk pre-order. Do, 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 do. Cyberpunk, yeah, I'm just going to keep grinding out in heaven's word uh, until Cyberpunk <laughs> comes out. I have to get that sick Dragoon armor from the Heaven's War trailer, man. <laughs> That's my love's goal. I don't... 
I don't care how much grinding I have to do, I will get that armor. <laughs> I will get there. I will get there. He didn't get there. I'm going to keep killing zombies yeah. as Leon Kennedy in Raccoon City. I'm Claire, bro. I'm a Claire man. Yeah, Claire. Well, I'll, I'll, you know what? I'll, I'm probably just going to get fucking three so I can play dude, it. Dude, get three. And, dude, get a gaming PC so you can install those nude mods. Get the, <laughs> see that Mr. X dong hanging out, I man. don't want to see the Mr. X dong. All right, at least get him in a Speedo. Okay, I'll do the Speedo. Okay. I'll do All the Speedo. Right. You can get Leon in a Speedo. You can get everybody nude. That's, that's, <laughs> that's the magic of PC gaming. You get wacky mods. You can see some nudity. What's not to like? Yeah, kids. What's not to like? Yeah, probably some kids that watch this. I don't know. Yeah, um, fan. Uh, the uh, some fans are making a um, full on Dark Souls sequel with uh, mods. So they're just like taking the assets in there and just making new huh. maps and whatnot. I guess I haven't checked it out. Uh, maybe I will someday. <laughs> uh, the only mods I install are you know. Nude mods. Nude mods. I need to see Carlos Oliveira in Resident Evil 3 nude. I need to see Nemesis nude. I, I think, think that's very grotesque. That nudity, dude. I feel like that'd be very grotesque. I need grotesque. that dudity. Dudity. you say dudity? Dudity. Dudity. That's what the Down Under Boy is all about. Down Under Boys. It's dudity. Dudity. Thunder from Down Under. <sighs> Alright. Hopefully we have more news for you next week. I hope not, man. I hope not. Time for a poetry <laughs> reading. Howl and Other Poems by Allen Ginsberg. <laughs> I saw the best minds of my generation destroyed by madness, starving hysterical naked, dragging themselves through the Negro streets at dawn looking for an angry fix. Angel-headed hipsters burning for the ancient heavenly connection to the starry dynamo in the machinery of night, who poverty and tatters and hollow-eyed and high sat up smoking in the supernatural darkness of cold water flats floating across the tops of cities contemplating jazz. Good old beat next, huh? We'll see you next week. Yes. For the love of God, we'll see you next week. <laughs>